Why don't you I ask the people that's closest to you? How long this. have you been single? Um, 14 years. Were you married before? No, never been married. What makes you think that you can take on a husband now in your 50s? You've never been married. You've oh, been single 14 years. I don't think I, I could take on a husband, but I would like to have like some kind of conversation with a man. You don't want to take on a husband? You just want a conversation? I mean, I'm just, hey, let's just take it one step at a time. <laughs> Hi, Guru. Hello. How are you doing today? Wonderful. Okay, so um, I was listening to what you were saying. Um, I am single. I've been single for a while now. Um, I just really want to know what does a woman have to do to get or meet men? Because I don't meet anybody. I go to work. I go to church. Um, go to the grocery store. I'm kind of just like, you know, just around. <laughs> but I'm not out there. How to get or meet men? Yeah, like I haven't had a date or even a man like approach me in it's been years, let's say. How old are you? I'm 54. What's the percentage of men do you think that go to church with you? Um, um I mean, it's probably not a, the best church to go to, <laughs> I have to say. What's the percentage of men do you think that go to the church? Um, single men or just men? Just men. Um, I would say about 30%. Now of that 30%, do you think at least half of them are married? Um, probably more than half. Okay. So you're dealing with a small population of men at the church. Yes. What percentage of women do you think that are single go to that church out of all the women? Um, more than half of the women? It's definitely, no, not more than half. I mean, like, it, it's probably like an older church, I guess. Um, well, how old? You in your 50s is an 80-year-old church? Like, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of 80s and 90-year-old <laughs> people that go there. Well, I mean, what do you expect? Well, I know, but I'm just saying, like, okay, so where else do I need to go? I don't, I mean, I enjoy my church. I enjoy the preacher. You know, the preacher's young. He's in his 30s. Like, so it's just, you know, he just hasn't started attracting more of the younger crowd. You got a preacher in his 30s with an old church? Yeah. Did he take over for a, another pastor? Yes, yes. Does he have a wife? No, he's divorced. Hmm. All right. So, uh, so first of all, you're over here thinking about where should you go? Where, first of all, you're a church going woman. So you need to stay with the men in the church. Okay. So that should be the first thing that you think of. That's just like me, right? Mm -hmm. The first thought that I have in my mind always to be married or to be with a wife or to have more than one wife, whatever, is she is is she Muslim? Have to be with a Muslim woman. Why do you think that's important to be with the man of your same faith? Um, it's very important. Um, just so we can worship together. Um, we have the same beliefs. Um, I guess. Okay. You live in a major city? Um or near one? In the state that I'm in, yes, it's a major city. Okay. You're going to have to get out and go to some other churches and start visiting, number one. Number two, have you considered a man of another faith like a Muslim man? Because a Muslim man can marry a Christian woman. I mean, I would be up for probably anybody right now. I told you it's been a while. Uh, so mm. I just don't meet anybody or I've been told in the past that I'm not approachable, which I don't know why, because, you know. Okay. Let me tell you something. It's going to be very hard for a lot more of y'all women, right? Because, uh, 
you just talking about you just go to, th this is exactly what i was talking about the topic wise y'all go to work y'all go home y'all go to the store whatever y'all are not even in the mind frame to be approached by a man y'all got way too much on your mind way too much stress see back in the day life even though they did a lot more to me the women did more but life was easier mm -hmm. right you knew what you were supposed to do you had a clear goal in mind a clear vision in mind and the fact of the matter is you at a you know you were look if you were interested in marriage with the man or whatever you kind of put the word out word of mouth got out right mm -hmm. you meet somebody that's a part of your neighborhood or your church or whatever she's looking for some a lot of y'all don't even have that anymore y'all don't have good friendships anymore this is what i've been talking about the whole social thing Y'all don't, y'all have not developed these things because I can tell you right now, even through my network of people I know, friends and things, I got people that I know all over the world. And if I put the word out right now and said, hey, I'm looking for a wife to all of them, could you guys recommend me a really good woman or, or at least a decent woman? She ain't got to be, a, right? They would be able to do it. Y'all are not sociable. A lot of this is going to be with you because let me tell you something. If you have friends that were wives, right, they would talk to their husbands. Or if you have friends, even that were women that were really good, more honorable, decent women, they would be able to recommend you somebody. That's number one. That's the best way if you're able to, to find somebody, somebody that's recommended to you from people that you know and trust. Okay. I mean, but that means you got to be more social. Did you, do you listen, listen, hold on one second. Remember, I don't know if you remember, I said this, uh, one of I say almost most of my streams, something my grandmother taught me in order to make a friend or in order to get friends, you must first show yourself as friendly. I am very friendly. I mean, I'm like, well, if you're so like friendly, how come, how, how come not, none of the women in your circle have recommended a husband to you? If you're so friendly. Because let me tell you something. I can tell you right now, if there was an amazing woman that was so good at everything and she was beautiful and she had it going on and her friends knew she's single and she really desires a husband, she's not going to be single long. They're going to recommend, oh, no, girl, we're going to get you somebody. Oh, my husband knows this really good guy or whatever. A lot of y'all are not what y'all think y'all are. What may, you talking about, oh, you're very friendly and all this. Who's told you that? A lot of people. What men have told you that? Not many. <laughs> uh, so I guess the females see me as friendly. I mean, at work, I'm, everybody knows I'm the friendly person. Um, let me just answer some things. No, I've never been married. <laughs> and <laughs> my friends, I have my closest friends are scattered throughout the United States because we went to college together. We, you know, um, I do have some friends here more so from work. Um, and so we kind of don't get into like the personal stuff, but I know a lot of people do know that I'm available. Why haven't they recommended you nobody? A really good man. Know. So all these people know you're available and it <laughs> Yes. Why don't you ask them? Why don't you ask the people that's closest to you? To how long this. have you been single? Um 14 years. Were you married before? No, never been married. What makes you think that you can take on a husband now in your 50s? You've never been married. You've been oh, single 14 years. I, I could take on a husband, but I would like to have like some kind of conversation with a man you don't want to take on a husband you just want a conversation I mean, i'm just hey let's just take it one step at a time <laughs> i just want to start off with lady do you somebody. do you want to be married do you want to have a husband I would love to be married that's always okay been my goal so since. listen to what i'm saying to you you worried about the wrong thing you talking about conversation well you gotta start somewhere of course we know that. 
You ain't even got so nobody that you time. you have. You have had nobody in your circle that's even recommended you. Nope. I got friends. Listen, let me tell you something. I got friends. If I go travel, wherever, if I go travel, their girls are asking, is your friend available? Why do you think they would ask that? Why do you think that? That's my question. It's a question. Um, well, because you seem like somebody that they would like to get to know. You don't got a better answer than that? I mean, I don't know exactly what you want me to say. Do you think that the women that they're with think I'm good looking, I have a good personality, I'm a good person? Do you I mean, think that they might think any of that stuff? Things. Okay, yes, I'm sure they do. But why can't you just say that? Why you got, you don't know. Because I don't know what other people think. Like, <laughs> I really don't know if after 14 years of being single and the fact that you have not been recommended by any of your friends, I don't even know if you're the type of woman that can even, even handle a man anymore. Mm -hmm. How long were you with your last relationship? Uh, Three years. Why didn't y'all get married after three years? What happened? Why didn't we get married? Yeah, why did y'all split instead of getting married? Uh, because he was mentally abusive. Was he always that way? No. Why do you think he became mentally abusive? Um, it was after I ended up I ended up having a child. And um with him? After that, you had a child yes. with him? Okay. Yeah. Um, and he felt that I put the child before him. Do you think you put the child before him? No, I think I was just being a mom. So he became mentally abusive or physically also? No, he threatened, but he never became physically. Were you guys around the same age? No, he was a little younger. Like by how many years? By four years. Do you wish that relationship would have worked out? Um... Before all that happened, yes. And now I'm grateful that it didn't. Why didn't you look into marriage or demand marriage out of him from the jump? Um, He talked marriage a lot. No, 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 no. I didn't, I didn't say he. I said you. I said, me? yes, why didn't you from the jump Look for marriage, demand marriage, make marriage a priority from the jump. You, not him. Um, I don't believe in demanding someone to marry me. Um, I mean, because then that's not going to work. I don't believe that. Okay, lady, uh, I, I want you to look, I want you to understand something, okay? Right? Okay. Many of you guys don't understand how words work, right? Okay, let me read you the definition of demand. To ask for with proper authority, to claim as a right, to ask for uh, preemptorily or urgently. Okay, you understand that? Yes. You, you understand that? Okay. So you can say you don't believe in demands, right? Right. Y'all lie about that. Because y'all have demanded that the man come home. Y'all have demanded that the man do this or do that for you. Y'all demand stuff all the time as women. Yeah, yeah, yes, okay. y'all do. Yes, y'all do. Yes, y'all do. If he's, mm. if he's, if he's late or so late, or he's not doing this, or y'all make demands all the time, right? So there is nothing wrong. Actually, 
you should, as a woman, demand, make demands that you be a wife. That has nothing to do with coercion or force. It's just asking something with authority. That's all a demand is. If I, if I tell you I need you to hush right now and listen to exactly what I'm saying, that is a demand. I'm asking you with authority. You understand how that works? Yes, I do. Okay. So I'm saying, uh, what's with the tone change? No, I'm just, I'm just like, yes, I do. You know, I'm not really into the demand kind of thing because. Okay, but I'm, I'm saying to you, y'all, y'all don't understand how words work most of the time. So y'all think that some of the stuff that I say, like sometimes I'll say require marriage. Why didn't you require marriage up front? Why didn't you demand marriage up front? Hey, I have sure a chase. Hey, 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 be. listen, 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 listen. Okay. I have a chase body and I don't allow any man to have access to my body. So what I'm asking of you is you need to marry me. If you want this body, you need to marry me. That is a demand. What is the. I mean, nowadays, I'm going to say 2024. I don't think that's something that people do. And if they do do it, I don't people know. People do what? Be chased? Be chased? Do what? Be chased? You said what? You don't think people do what today that are they're chased? Um I don't think that they demand marriage up front. That's the problem, and I'm telling y'all that y'all should. But, Hold on one second. Okay. Everybody watching over on the YouTube channel, I'm still missing about 30 almost likes. I need everybody watching on YouTube that haven't done it yet, hit the thumbs up button. Everybody watching on YouTube right now takes one second. Hit the thumbs up button. Um, you don't think people, so not people, you mean women. Women. Women are not demanding marriage out of men. Why do you think that is? I don't, I just think it's the times. I mean, let your, it's listeners, just the times. That's it. Who, who I've never heard of anyone demanding marriage from a man. Who does like, who has done that? How has that gone um, for y'all? Are you serious right now? Yeah, yeah, I am. Mm, mm, mm. What does the word demand mean again, lady? What did I tell you? Um, to ask for and ask in a what kind of way i think you said i would say probably a confident way no i don't remember with authority authority okay Confidence, so so authority. so guess what no it's not the same thing so guess okay, what okay. you have authority over your body yes if a man wants access to your body then you can make demands that he marry you He don't want to marry you. If every man you come across don't want to marry. Listen, if 90% of women today had that as a requirement, as a demand. Mm -hmm. And they were decent women. It's like they say they are. Yes, I'm friendly. I'm this, I'm that. Guess what? There'll be a whole lot of marriages. That's not y'all's demand. Because y'all have gone so far into work what you're doing right now being by yourself working go, you uh being against being social you have really no social life besides the life that you might have with your little girlfriends 
Mm-hmm. Y'all have gone so far into the deep end over to that ledge that y'all don't know how to uh, be with a man properly, how to talk to a man, how to speak to him, how to be peaceful with him, non-combative, non-argumentative, how to listen to him, how to respect him, most importantly. Y'all don't know nothing about respecting a man. And if you had respect for your ex, he probably would have married you. If you demanded marriage up front without y'all just having intercourse, he probably would have married you. Or if he wouldn't have married you, he would have left you alone and y'all would have parted ways. Now you're talking about you happy that y'all did split. Well, guess what? Y'all would have never even been getting it on and having this toxic relationship that y'all end up having if you would have made the demands up front. I know this. I don't think I've dealt with one woman ever in my life that demanded marriage. So I became Muslim. When I became Muslim, it was a whole new world because I have to, now I have to go through the Father. Things have to be done properly now. And y'all, a lot of times, don't want, first of all, a lot of y'all don't have proper men in y'all life to help y'all, right? And, and then, if not that, y'all are rebellious. Y'all are rebellious when it comes to authority. So, you don't want, you're not going to bring around a man that you want to screw and just have fun with right now because you already know what the people older than you are going to say. Oh, but uh, you really think so? I mean, I, I feel like I can change him. That's what y'all going to say. You know, them older folks is going to tell you, you already know what they was going to say to you. That you a fool. The same thing I say all the time. You a fool. Right. Somebody said they know their father going to say no. You know your father would say, you know the men in your life going to say no. What are you thinking? With the men in your life and your family, stop reading the comments and look at me. But the men in your family have approved of the last joker you were with. That they met him up front. Would they have approved of him being married to you? If they met him, got to know him, all of that stuff. Would they have approved him? It shouldn't take you this long. It should have been a quick yes. That tells me right there. No, it's not because I'm still talking. You would have been able to say yes, of course. You've been talking over me this whole time. Mm. That tells me all I need to know. You a stubborn older woman. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you are. Mm. You ain't never, you just never had nobody tell you the truth about yourself because them women in your life been lying to you. That's why they ain't recommended you to nobody. They got brothers and family members and people they know. They would have been recommended you to somebody. The hell? Thanks. 14 years then went by, lady. You got way more gray in your head now. Yep. You probably, do you weigh more than you did 14 years ago? Yes. How much more? What do you weigh right now? Mm, Approximately. About 250. 250? Yeah. Why haven't you tried to lose any weight? Um, or right now, I'm going through menopause, and so I'm gaining weight. <laughs> Just to let you know. So now, uh, you're blaming menopause on everything. Yes, you do gain weight during menopause. How tall are you? And the, the, I'm like right in the thick of it. 
And so how, then how I tall are you? Um, five eight. So you gained all this weight from menopause? No, I gained some after I had my child. I thought your your child is at least ten, right? Mm-hmm. You ain't been in a relationship in fourteen years, okay? Mm -hmm. You had all these years to try to lose some weight. Yeah. Why didn't you? Um, because I went to a period of depression. Um, there was just a lot going on. Then I lost my parents, and then some illnesses that I've had. So, yeah. You need to lose 100 pounds. Yeah, I do. Now. I know. You shouldn't be thinking about talking about where can you go to find a man. You need to lose 100 pounds. Okay. It's always going to be a bad time. This happened, that happened, this happened, that happened. Time is now or never. You're 57? 54. 54. I know, close. <laughs> well, I mean, by the time you lose any weight, you might be 57. Right. If you even do it, I don't think you have the motivation to do it. Um, It's more about finding the time to do it. Well, what, what's taking up all your time right now? You ain't got nobody. You just have, how old is your child? He's 16. Your child's almost grown. Your son's almost grown. Almost, yeah. You ain't no little kid where you got to feed him every two seconds and do all this stuff. Come on now, lady. Mm -hmm. what, what, what's taking up your time? You got no man. Um, I have a job. <laughs> okay. You go either before work or after work. You go get you a personal trainer. You start getting on a diet and losing the weight. A serious diet. You need a nutritionist mm -hmm. and a personal trainer ASAP. probably been depressed for 15 years no not for 15 years no have you I'm, got therapy yeah. before have you got therapy yes yes i have really yeah how long did you go to therapy how many years how many years i just said years i didn't say how many years i just said years more than five Less than five? I think. I want to say about six or seven years. You ain't never been diagnosed with nothing? Psycho you ever see a psychiatrist and no, get diagnosed? No, no, no. Not diagnosed with anything. No, di no depression, no bipolar, nothing? No, 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 no. <laughs> hmm. I don't know, lady. I mean, you're already in your mid fifties and you need to lose a lot of weight. I mean, first of all, the, the marriage pool is not going to be that high right now for you, the older you get. So this should be a priority right now. You're looking at getting with a man that let's say he's 62, 65. He's going to want as much peace and cooperation as possible. Even if he's in, let's say he's 57, he's 59, he's still going to want the same. More than likely, he's going to be close to retirement. He don't want to deal with no stress, no problems. He don't want to deal with no big old woman. Probably got poor eating habits. You used to being alone and, I mean, all kind of stuff. You got any health problems? No, not right now. Not right now. Did you hear what you just said? <laughs> you 250, they coming. I said I did have health problems. Okay, but you 250, they coming. Yeah. You need to think about a lot of things, lady, then maybe schedule one on one with me. Go to the link tree in my bio and you need to look at scheduling a one on one. 
Because there's some things that I didn't even get into that probably with your past and all kind of stuff that you you really need to dig out. Right. Because this has nothing to do with me and this have everything to do with you. Oh, okay. All right. Have a good day. All right. You too. And there it is. You just witnessed another episode of The Black Guru. You better subscribe and hit that bell twice to make sure you get notified for every single piece of my content. I got so much more to come.